Hello, hello. I know I've been gone for a while, <clears throat> but it has been busy around here. Um, my craft room walls are now done. Um, last weekend, my daughter came home, and so we fixed her uh, dress for her engagement pictures. Yep, the weekend before that, they were finishing my room. Um, yeah, so that's where I've been. In all of that, I had two books that I needed to make. Um, I have two twins in my family, and it was their first birthday, and their mother wanted me to do them a book. So I know I promised y'all I'd get back here quicker than this, but they needed their book. So I did that uh, last week. No, the week of spring break. <clears throat> so I did two books in one week. No, I only had three days to do it. And I was up till two o'clock in the morning working on those. So anywho, this is gonna be our book in a box. I put up a, uh, tut not a tutorial, a walkthrough of the one that I did for my friend, but it did not have any decorative paper on it. So this is gonna be the tutorial for that one. This book has a lot of the things in it that you all have been asking about. It's gonna have the easel top. Um, it is a box and it's going to have that page that goes and whenever you pull it, the picture photo mats flip. So, uh, the easel and that all come from the home and hearth recipe album book walkthrough that I did, but it was small and I had to do that one in a hurry as well. So this will take care of a lot of that stuff. So this is kind of our inspiration. I made this book two years ago and it was a tutorial from my book of memories or your book of memories. Um, so the structure of our box is heavily influenced by that. I paid for this tutorial to do this book. Um, but I am changing a few things on it that I just didn't like about how the box was constructed. All the pages in the tutorial that we're getting ready to do, that's all completely me. The construction of the box, not exact, but yes, I did. I learned how to do it from her tutorial. Ours will not have a shaker on it, but isn't this cute? So this paper is Oh Happy Day by Cartabella. But this is how our box is going to work. Okay. And then we've got, well, we're not going to have a pocket. We're going to have a pocket, but it's going to be different. Um, the hinge system on this is different. And whenever we first do it, you're not going to believe me that it's going to work. But it is. Because this book has held up for, like I said, two and a half years. And I did change things in this book because this is where I first taught myself how to do the moving pockets, which I did on the first um, farmhouse living cookbook that we did. And this book that we're getting ready to do is gonna have moving pockets as well, but they're gonna be in different places. So not all of this was hers. I did change and tweak a lot of it, but the construction of it, um, I literally bought the tutorial just so I could learn how to put the book box together. So this is our inspiration. Um, there it is. I did add these. This is one of the things I added. I put these um, brads at the bottom just because when you're moving this around, anytime we rub our paper on, on any surface, it's gonna get dirty. So I put those there and they're kind of like little feet for our box. We're gonna change this. This just has not worked well for me at all. Uh, we don't even necessarily need a closure because, I mean, it's a box. So, there's the box. The paper I will be using is called New Day by Echo Park. I have several of the goodies. that go along with it. 
here I've already cut out my journaling cards and the strips and I'm just loving look at that see isn't that cute I'm liking the, the muted colors I always cut out my journaling cards that way I don't accidentally use up all the paper so I have the frames and tags and the ephemera and I truly only have them because I got them for two dollars each I don't use these a whole lot I prefer the chipboard because they're thicker and so whenever I use them to make tuck spots, and you'll see what I mean if you don't know what that is yet, um, it just, it holds up better than just the paper. So I have the chipboard phrases, the accents, I like that, and a sky full of clouds be a rainbow, and I have the chipboard frames. I have only ever used these once, so I'm going to see how that goes and then i have three kits this is a large book it is eight by ten the pages are and we're doing four interactive pages so i do have three full kits and even with that i am still going to put on some of the inside pages this is a pale baby pink ballet pink whatever you want to call it that i'm going to use on some of the uh Oh, you know, whenever we have stuff that opens up, I'll use it on the inside. Just to help my paper go further. And I have the 6x6 six six pad. I love these for our journaling cards because sometimes I need more than what they give me. So, but this is kind of a sneak peek at this paper. Oh, I just love it. There's bees in here. There they are. Because I like the bees. And the plaid. Ugh. So anywho, so that's what we're going to be doing. You don't have to use this paper. Um, as I figured out while making this, this box would make a wonderful recipe book. You could do a recipe book box and the pages are big enough that you're going to have plenty of room to put full size um, yeah, recipes instead of having to put everything on a tiny card. So I already started using this paper and then I realized I should have done it with recipe paper. So I'm probably going to go back and make a second one for myself. That will be a recipe book. So let's go over what you're going to need. You're going to need a scoreboard. You're going to need a paper cover, cutter or trimmer. We're going to use a hole punch one time. You may have a crocodile if so great if not you know any way that you can punch a little hole you're going to be good um you're going to need a score tool scissors bone folder or as i call it my handy dandy whatchamadoodle thingy an eraser if you're like me we're going to need ribbon small ribbon and or baker's twine and then yeah, we don't need big ribbon because we're not doing a tie closure. You're going to need approximately five brads, maybe more. These are decorative because I'm going to put them on the bottom of that book. This one is for a page. We have a page that's going to spin down and spin back up. So it doesn't matter what color that one is. Ten by one magnets. I do love to use me some magnets. Glue and or tape. I prefer glue. If I'm going to use tape, I want it to be big and thick. I have horrible, horrible luck with the quarter inch and the half inch. I seem to be doing okay with the three quarter inch and up. So this is three quarter inch. This is two inch. Obviously, I got it from scrapbook.com. And I also have four inch that I usually use on my covers. So we have all of those things. Oh, you're going to need three 12 by 12 pieces of chipboard. And you're going to need cardstock of your choice. I used um, craft and it's just regular weight. It's not the heavy weight. Let me move this stuff. Um, so you should be fine with whichever one you decide to use. 
So first thing we're going to do now that we've gone through all the things that you need, and if you don't have these exact things, but you have other things that you use, that is fine. So the first thing we're going to do is you are going to need four sheets of craft paper and you are going to cut them at eight and a half by 10. And we are going to score at half an inch on the left hand side. Then we're going to go through and we're going to number it. Page one. Mark the top, the spine, and the bottom. Page two. Top, bottom, and spine. And I'm going to do that on four sheets. So we should have page one, page two, all the way through to page eight. This is what we're building all of our pages on. I know you think it's going to fall. It's not going to fall. It's not going to tear. One thing, this book is made to be stored lying flat instead of standing up like we usually do most of our cute books because this is a box. That is part of what keeps this hinge and makes this hinge functionable. We do not have a whole lot of width um, just because it's going to get, it's just structurally not sound. So you just need to do four pages and score it at half an inch on the left hand side. I'm trying to think, oh, the only other thing you're gonna need is when we do our covers, when we build this box, you are going to need 12 by 12 sheets of whatever paper you're making because this box, the lid is going to be 10 and three quarters and you're not, we're not gonna have enough to wrap if you're using 11 eight and a half by 11 paper. So you will need at least three, no more than three of those. All right, eh, I say no more. Let's call it five and, and be happy with it. So you're gonna want five 12 by 12 sheets of whichever paper you are going to use. All right, so I will see you in the next video and we will be doing page one and two in one video. So I'm trying to get two pages done Per video instead of one video per page. Does that make sense? All right. Thank you. And I will see you in the next video.